Hey, welcome back to the channel. So just a few weeks ago, Apple announced macOS Catalina, which at the time of this video is the latest and greatest operating system from Apple. Now, whenever these operating systems are released, they coincide with hardware releases as well. So people scramble to get the latest MacBook, Mac mini, iMacs, whatever your Mac of choice is. And in this case, a lot of people are getting the 16 inch MacBook Pro and spending over two grand on these new machines. Now, if you want to take full advantage of macOS Catalina, do you need to spend more than $2,000? Well, today we are going to look at macOS Catalina running on a 2012 13-inch MacBook Pro that I got on Craigslist for $150. Bucks. Let's look at some of the specs on this machine. And like I said, it's a mid-2012 13-inch MacBook Pro. This is the non-Retina model. It's got a third-generation i5 processor in there. And the reason why I went with the non-Retina model is, number one, it's a little bit cheaper. And number two, you can do more upgrades to it. And for some of those upgrades, I went ahead and put in 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM and bumped up the internal storage to a one terabyte SSD drive. Uh, I got this machine for 150 bucks on Craigslist, the RAM and the hard drive I already had, but honestly, you can uh, get some RAM and hard drive for probably under a hundred bucks. So for 250 bucks, you can have the machine or a very similar machine to what I'm using in this video. Now, when I first got this machine and put in that larger hard drive, I didn't clone the existing drive over. So I did a clean install of Mac OS Mojave. That worked just fine. I was able to set it up. I've been using it for months with that. I even set up a bootcamp partition with Windows 10 on there. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, I have a video. I'll put a link right up here if you want to go and see how to set up Windows in a bootcamp partition. But that's all been working flawlessly. So when Catalina came out and had the final release, I wanted to do the update. And I decided to just keep my fingers crossed. I backed up all my data and updated through the built-in mechanism within the store. I just went out to the store selected Catalina and let it do its thing. So went through and restarted a few times. I waited for a little while and when it was all done, I had a fresh upgrade to Mac OS Catalina. Now I was pretty sure this would work well because the mid 2012 MacBook Pro is officially supported by Catalina and it did. Everything worked flawlessly. I didn't experience any issues after the update. Everything worked exactly the way it did before. Even uh, Boot Camp, I was able to get right into my Windows 10 partition. The performance is very, very fast. Just day to day stuff is super fast. I've kind of done videos on this before, but video editing works well, even 4K. Everything works really, really smoothly with Catalina on the mid 2012 MacBook Pro. Now, one thing that I was really pleasantly surprised that still worked after the update was using the external GPU. Now, these machines don't support external GPUs natively. There's a script that you have to run called Purge Wrangler. Now, I have a tutorial on how to do that. I'll put a link right up here, but I just use my Thunderbolt 2 adapter, plug it into my Thunderbolt 3 cable, plug that into my eGPU. It recognized it, came up, and displayed it on my uh, gaming monitor. Displays just fine. That works flawlessly, just like everything else after this upgrade. If you've been a little bit apprehensive about it, thinking that uh, Wi-Fi won't work or Bluetooth won't work or you know, have charging issues, I have not seen anything like that. Everything has been solid. I've been able to edit videos, use it for day-to-day -day stuff, even do a little gaming, especially with that external GPU. Uh, it makes it much more capable. So hopefully you found this video useful and informative. If you did hit that thumbs up, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Uh, also, if you want to see any future videos, leave those down in the comment section. I'm always open to video ideas and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.